Hi students, welcome. So now we are discussing about in projection of solid topic. Our given problem is a pentagonal prism of side of base 25 mm and axis 55 mm long is resting on a lateral edge on HP. Clear. The rectangular face containing that edge is inclined 30 degree to HP when axis inclined 40 degree to VP. Clear. Draw its projection. So in this problem, our given solid is pentagonal prism. The size is 25 mm side and axis long 55. Here resting on lateral edge on HP. So lateral edge is nothing but the edge perpendicular to the axis that is called lateral edge. The edge parallel to the axis is nothing but linear edge. So therefore the lateral edge means the axis perpendicular is nothing but base edges clear. So the base edge is resting on HP while the rectangular face containing that edge is inclined 30 degree for example it is 30 degree inclined and same the axis is inclined once again it is inclined 40 degree to VP therefore the given problem is it is inclined to both the planes problem clear so therefore after second inclination stage final stage before that first inclination previous stage and initially or initial position it is a first stage therefore stage 1 stage 2 and stage 3 clear so three different stages so finally we get that six diagrams in this problem so first we draw one x y reference clear so now The pentagonal prism, the lateral edge is resting on HP while tilting inclined HP. Therefore, before tilting, the axis of the solid is perpendicular to HP. Therefore, the pentagon shape is visible in top view. Understand? So, first we draw the pentagon like this. So, this one is pentagon. Understand? Why we are, uh, I am selecting the edge right side means while tilting the edge base edge is resting on HP. In, instead of that we are consider this side pentagon means while tilting the corner is resting but we need the edge is resting therefore right side let us consider the edge I understand right and this is prism point center we know that how to determine the center point clearly in the odd sides polygon the corner and its opposite side you join it any two we get it intersection point that is center I understand light so therefore this is one two three four five clear then you, you draw the projection line from 1, 2, 5, 3, 4 and center. Clear? Right. So before tilting the base edge is completely resting on HP. No. So therefore the base is completely resting on HP and axis long of the prism is they given 55 therefore we draw the 55 mm axis long clear the base edge and this is visible edge and this is axis clear so this one is axis line dot line dot line like this so here the 1 2 3 4 I consider base 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash comma 4 dash 2 dash comma 5 dash clear similarly in top surfaces consider a b c d e therefore 
ఏ డాష్ బి డాష్ సి డాష్ కమా డి డాష్ బి డాష్ కమా ఈ డాష్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద టాప్ వ్యూ అండ్ ఫ్రంట్ వ్యూ నవ్ ద యాక్సిస్ ఈస్ పర్పండిక్యులర్ టు హెచ్పి నవ్ వీ నీడ్ ద యాక్సిస్ ఈస్ ఇన్క్లైన్ థర్టీ డిగ్రీ టు హెచ్పి క్లియర్ సో ద ఫోర్ వి డ్రా ద యాక్సిస్ ఇన్క్లైన్ థర్టీ డిగ్రీ టు హెచ్పి సేమ్ డయాగ్రామ్ వన్ టు టిల్ట్ ఇట్ డ్యూరింగ్ దట్ ఇన్క్లైన్ టైమ్ టిల్టింగ్ ద త్రీ డాష్ ఫోర్ డాష్ ద బేస్ హెడ్జ్ ఈస్ రెస్టింగ్ ఆన్ హెచ్పి అండ్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ ద రెక్టాంగులర్ ఫేస్ కన్సై కంటైనింగ్ దట్ హెడ్జ్ వాట్ ఆర్ దట్ సో త్రీ టు ఫోర్ ఫోర్ టు డి డి టు సి సి టు త్రీ సో దిస్ rectangular face clear so therefore we draw that same diagram it is first diagram so this is second diagram now second and third both are same shape and size no same diagram we tilt it here condition is the axis and base is perpendicular the axis 35 degree means clear for that line perpendicular at the same time 3 dash 4 dash is completely lies on x y therefore from axis this distance how much is the same distance where it comes here clear therefore then we extend it so this is axis 3 3 dash comma 4 dash point okay next here to here 2 dash comma 5 dash and this is 1 dash so the total size comes to here then let us assume same size clear right so this is 1 2 3 4 5 dashes like this a dash b dash c dash comma d dash b dash comma e dash clear then we draw the projection lines from third diagram that is inclined one position from diagram front view 1 next 2 comma 5 3 comma 4 similarly from a b and e c and d similarly from here e comma 5 d and 4 a and 1 c 3 and b 2 so where is that lines are intersecting we know down clear so here 1 and 1 2 and 2 like this this is 1 this is 2 versus 2 3 and 3 4 5 similarly here a b c d here a and a b and b c and c d and d then e so while seeing in top view that a b c d e a that pentagon edges the pentagon shape is visible therefore here these edges are visible completely visible so dark line by thick continuous line by h pencil okay like this but here the base edge here 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 1 here that five edges are not clearly visible so therefore what are the edges are visible means from see this side clear 5 to 1 1 to 2 is visible that's all so 5 to 1 1 to 2 is visible but 2 to 3 invisible 3 to 4 invisible 4 to 5 invisible clear that's all then in top view 1a the longer edge is visible so 1a visible similarly 2b 5e 2b 5e visible clear the bottom most from the observer this is the farthest to the observer so this is 3c invisible 4d invisible but it is object line so therefore invisible object line by mentioned by hidden line by edge pencil so 3 to c here hidden line similarly 4 to t that's all so finally we get fourth diagram 
it is inclined only one plane that is inclined to hp only clear this is inclined to hp case axis now we need one more inclination at the time of inclination to hp for example it is center o1 o2 here o1 comma o2 here o1 o2 dashes you project it here this is for example o1 let us consider this is o2 so o1 to o2 it is axis so here in front view inclined hp the axis is inclined hp here parallel to vp but we need again the axis of the solid is inclined to vp also therefore how we get the second diagram and third diagram both are same shape and size only the position is changed similar for case the fourth diagram and fifth diagram also both are same shape and size but instead of that axis parallel to vp now it's tilt inclined to vp as per the given value clear 40 degree to vp in this case so therefore so how much inclination this problem means same diagram we tilt it okay we know the procedure in projection of plane topic itself how to trace it by same conditions we made it first we draw the inclined line I understand so the ang angle is 40 degree as per the given total diagram we tilt it for example grid formation or otherwise first we take it 1 to a how much distance so this is one you select anywhere one okay at any cost that the diagram after tilting it's never cross that x y clear yeah. so that is the main thing so a to one how much distance is there so a to one next from this line and this line how much gap similar case here how much gap same gap here also therefore first we made it here this one the gap how much is there mark it by using compass or any instrument then here to here distance how much clear like this next here the line is there no a next 2 comma 5 how much gap between the number 1 projection and 2 comma 5 projection so this is number 1 projection and 2 comma 5 projection it is perpendicular to axis clear and now 2 comma 5 projection and 3 comma 4 projection the gap how much is there we, we made it know here 2 comma 5 projection 3 comma 4 the horizontal distance how much same horizontal distance here also okay same distance from here to here here to here from here to here and here to here so from 1 to here this gap and from here to here same gap from here to here and that so now we know that this is one a one this one is two three four five like same diagram two to three invisible three to four invisible four to five invisible similar case a this one is b c d e so the a b c d fully visible a b c d visible then a 1 b 2 like this a 1 visible b 2 visible e 5 visible 3 c invisible 4 d invisible so now the fourth and fifth diagram is 100 percent same only one difference axis parallel to vp now inclined to vp that's all so now we get final diagram sixth one we draw the projection line from fifth to here front view and three to there clear so from one five four three two similarly a e d 
डी सी एंड बी क्लियर Similarly, here from A, B comma E, C comma D, like this. This is one, two and five, three and four. Now we mention the points. Okay, so one versus one. This is one dash, two and two, two dash, three and three, three dash, four, four, four dash, five, five, five dash. Clear. Similarly, A B C D, A B C D E. So the A and A. A and A, A dash, B, B, B dash, C, C, C dash, like D dash, E dash, kada, like. So, so this is after after second inclination. This is top view. Now you see the fi final diagram, front view. So in this case, here that pentagon is completely visible here also. This pentagon is fifty percent visible, fifty percent invisible. Clear. So therefore, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to A. Clear. So this pentagon is visible. Similarly, one to two, two to three. Three to four, visible, clear. Understand. Four to five, invisible. Five to one, invisible. Clear. So one, two, three, four visible edges. Four, five, one. Four to five, five to one is invisible edge. Then finally you join. One A, two B. Three C, four D, visible, on the top. On the fourthest point, five C is invisible. Clear. So this is the answer. Clear. So finally, we got sixth diagram. So this is before inclination stage one. It is after. First inclination, you incline to HP stage two, front and top view. Then, and final inclination, incline to VP, final top view and front view. So now this is the incline to both the planes problem of a given pentagonal prism. Clear. Thank you.